What's up, YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth, and I am back with you today to do another band-made reaction. Today, via your request, I am taking a look at Domination, the official live video. Link to the video, link to the original video, will be in the description section below. Let's get to it. Domination. That was a little aggressive. <laughs> it's what I do. World Domination Tour. That's so nice. That sound is so full. It's got a very classic rock feel to this. Classic metal. I'm trying not to read these lyrics. I know when I read the lyrics to songs, when I read subtitles, when I'm reviewing videos, it just, it takes away from me actually paying attention to the song. I really enjoyed the, the sequence earlier where it was basically Misa's bass and Akane's drums and just slightly highlighted or, or supported by the uh, rhythm guitar. Very, very nice. I'm digging this. I'm loving the laser show. I'm loving the sound of this. And what I said earlier is it sounds very similar to classic rock. What I meant more was not so much classic, there ain't no classic rock that sounds like this, but like older classic metal where you have very heavy dueling guitars and bass, and then that all pauses and all you have is like a little bit of kick drum and, and snare going on. It's reminiscent of that, but performed on a pretty high level. Back to it. I absolutely love that they smile all the time. That's a nice little breakdown. That's nice. Very thrashy. Her voice. Hello. Just as good of a spot as any to pause the video. I know I'm going to get roasted or yelled at for that too, probably. Just, just good. I mean, there's nothing about this that's not friggin' great. The fullness of this band is just something to behold. It's amazing. It sounds like there's two bass players and five guitar players on that stage. It's wonderful. And Psy Keys vocal talent in this song it's just very well paced her her tone is very rich just good stuff man and i pause it here it looks like misa's getting ready to go off let's get back to it nice
That's so awesome. Now I've had so many people, I mentioned before that her get her bass tone sounds like Steve Harris. It's very reminiscent of Steve Harris. Now I'm not saying that she looks like Steve Harris. I'm not saying that she trains to be like Steve Harris. I'm saying that her bass tone sounds like Steve Harris. The particular video that I mentioned she was playing a bass that looked like Steve Harris. Everybody's telling me that she's not influenced by Steve Harris. That's not what I'm saying here. Her tone sounds like Steve Harris. She's got talent on a level of Steve Harris. Another thing a lot of people tell me is that these guys aren't metal. If there are not sequences in this song that are just dripping of the blood of what thrash metal is, you don't, you don't know what thrash metal is. There's, so, there's been three or four different times in this song that it sounded like this was being performed by a, a, a next level thrash band. It's amazing. It's fantastic. I don't know why people get so upset when you say that these guys remind you of something. Whatever. Back to it. Akane. Going off. Oh, nice breakdown. That face is just rumbling. Listen to that progression. Oh, that sounds so good. Another thing that I don't know that I've ever mentioned before is Miku's vocal talent very much coincides with or, or, or supports or works well with Psyche's vocals. It just sounds so two different pitch, well not different pitches, but I don't know, two different vocal tones together in harmony is wonderful. And you don't hear that enough in this type of music. Well, you don't have multiple female singers in one band most of the time in this type of music. Typically, when you have a female vocalist in what I would consider to be definitely a metal song, I'll put it that way, it's usually one girl with like four guys or one girl with three guys. It's not multiple women in one band together singing together in harmony. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for, harmonizing. Way to go, P pulled that out of somewhere. But the vocals between those two ladies always, always, always sound good. Was it Thrill maybe where those two sang together or took turns singing? That was very nice. This is another example of that, it's fantastic. Very, very good stuff. Back at it. Oh. My bad, I didn't realize it was at the end. Very, very cool, man. I like it. Now, full disclosure, when I did my very first band-made reaction ever, I did Warning, and I liked Warning. I wasn't blown away by Warning. 
immediately after I was done listening to Warning, I had uh, somebody else sent me a link to this on Facebook because they, they asked for two different songs at the same time. They just listed Warning first and then listed Domination. So I reviewed Warning because that was the one listed first. So that made me feel like if you listed that one first, that's the one you want to hear the most. So I, list, I did a, a reaction to Warning, but I listened to Domination. In all sincerity, the only thing that I remembered about Domination prior to listening to this now, uh, well, even having listened to this now, the only thing that I remembered about Domination was that I liked Domination significantly more than I liked Warning. And now that I'm actually paying attention to and reacting to Domination, that is absolutely accurate. This was way better than Warning. Everything about this was fantastic. The, the, the vocal harmonizing, the, the just crazy talent of Misa on her bass, and I, I'm gonna say it right this time, Akane's drumming is just, she's just spectacular. Everybody's telling me how great of a drummer she is. Watching her speaks for itself, it's fantastic. Both guitar players are great. I think somebody said Miku didn't even know how to play guitar when they put this band together. That in and of itself is pretty spectacular. And Konami's lead playing and support, it, it's just everything about this was wonderful. It's everything that everybody told me that it was going to be. And I, I, does it get better than that? I mean, is there stuff out there that's even better than this by Bandmade? I don't know. You guys are going to have to tell me that. All right, so that was the one that won the tally this time. There's another song or two that are kind of in the lead for my next bandmate reaction, but you guys let me know in the comment section below which ones you want me to listen to, and I'll keep tallying, I'll keep reacting, and I will also react to other requests as well. I have a running list going there. Let me know in the comment section what you guys want, and I will do my best to give it to you. I'm going to get out of here. Before I go, I just wanted to say Happy New Year. Have a kick-ass 2022. My 2021 was not the greatest, so I'm going to do my best to make 2022 exactly that. It's got to be better than this year was. All right, I'm getting out of here. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching, folks. Happy New Year.